I'm hoping that the audio quality and visual quality for this intro is good enough because what my original plan was, was I was gonna do, you know, standing up, like more, I don't know, less casual. But sadly, I was setting up to film this portion of the video and my tripod actually broke. So that's a big bummer. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to order a new one soon, which I guess can be a good thing. Anyways, for this video, I'm going to take you guys along with me on a road trip that me and my friends took this past weekend to go watch the ASU versus UCLA game at the Rose Bowl. We all live in Phoenix, so it was about a five to six hour drive to Pasadena, but it was a super enjoyable trip, exhausting but enjoyable as you will see. For the sake of keeping this intro short, let's just head into the video. So before we went on our long trip, I actually stayed up late watching a Diamondbacks game, so I needed that good, good coffee, shout out Starbucks, and then we were hitting the road. So we actually ended up stopping for Starbucks again, and I got the bacon gouda and egg sandwich, classic, and we ended up getting a free chai tea latte. So Cole, how's the road trip been so far? It's been good. It's been really good. Do you have any comments? Are you excited for the game? I'm excited for the game, but I'm more excited for when we find an H on a license plate. Fair point. What is this? But yeah, I'm excited. Now it's game time, so enjoy this montage. At the game, Cole also found his friends from ASU that were reporting. And my friend Brendan kept getting pointed out for his mariachi hat. More on that later. I don't want to interject, but I feel like the Mariachi Tillman situation has to be addressed. My friend Brendan, who went to the game with us, um, he has worn a sombrero to almost every single ASU football game ever since our freshman year in 2019. It was always fun having a friend who was super recognizable because of the sombrero, um, both on TV and in the ASU student section as well. But recently, Brendan and our friend group have found out that there was a ASU alum who pretty much wore the exact same outfit and coined his uh, term as the Mariachi Tillman. So with a little further research, we found he has a Twitter account and he had posted like these images of both Brendan at an ASU game a few weeks back. And also I'm in one of the photos, which is really bizarre. But I guess he has a personal beef with Brendan now, so... That's interesting. Anyways, Brendan found out that this guy lives in California or like in the LA area and so we were curious if we were going to see him at all at the game or if Brendan would be confronted and as you've seen or as you will see, he did um, at least once and there were random people who would come up and ask us like, oh do you know who the Mariachi Tillman is or are you the new Mariachi Tillman and Brendan of course he didn't really have a comment. Anyways, I just thought that was funny. Um, hope you guys enjoy that little bit of rivalry inside of the ASU Devils, you know, alum and current students. Let's get back into this game. What do you think of the game so far? Uh, this is definitely a football game. There's been a lot of football being played. Um, 11 players on each team have been on the field quite a lot. Those are my thoughts. Awesome, also, thank you. just kidding. This is fun. Okay, good. Go get like a drink or something. A drink? Wow. Beer. Like a, like a fountain drink. Or Beer. Something. Cole and I took a water break during halftime and we got to walk around the Rose Bowl a bit, which was nice. And then we were back at it. Yeah! 
At this point, another guy came up and actually asked Brendan if he could borrow the sombrero for a photo, and he succeeded. <laughs> As you can tell, ASU did not end up rushing the field that night. I have mixed feelings on it, but mostly positive. <laughs> now it was time to head south to San Diego and visit my parents. night we ended up all going to bed at around 3 a.m. at least I did and so I woke up at around 6 because it was pretty hard to sleep I'm really excited to be home and so I only slept about three hours and now we're eating bagels so I have a cinnamon sugar bagel um, Cole had <laughs> Cole's also the other person to be up and he had an everything bagel and a jalapeno cheddar bagel. So he's gonna try it. Maybe we'll get his first thoughts. Yeah. Cole and I woke up early, so we ended up going on a walk near my house, which was really, really nice. It was great to be home and by the beach again. I don't wanna leave. What are your thoughts on Carlsbad? It's the greatest place on earth. If you haven't come here yet, you should, but like, don't all come here at once because. Stop moving forward. You're be bad for for uh, for people who live here, but it's beautiful. Thank you. It's so cold. Oh my god, it's ice. Yeah. All right. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Cole and I got back from our walk. We ended up waking everyone up and everyone got to meet my dog, Aki, which was super nice. He was so happy and I gave him some good pets. The rest of the afternoon, we went to the Carlsbad Village and I showed my friends around, but I didn't get much footage of that, so sorry. And then we just spent the rest of the afternoon hanging out at the beach. And before we knew it, it was time to drive back to Phoenix. I had tried my best to stay awake during the road trip back to get some footage and just, you know, accompany the driver, Morgan, and everyone in the car, but alas, I failed miserably. About 45 minutes to an hour in, I could not keep my eyes awake. I was literally like, like, <laughs> I, I was dozing off. It was really bad. So I slept. We got back into Phoenix at around 11.40. So I ended up going to bed about midnight that night. And that's history. I mean, it was a super amazing trip. I was so happy to be able to go and not only go, but go with really close friends and take a car this time. My freshman year, I had gone on this trip, but I went through the ASU function. So it was a turnaround trip and it was on a really uncomfortable bus and it was just not as good of an experience. We also had lost to UCLA like miserably. So it was just not as good. But this time around, it was definitely Definitely much more enjoyable we could go at our own pace pick our own places to eat and we just had an amazing time overall I was also so happy to see my family and my dog and get to show my friends around um, where I grew up so that was also a really 
really great experience. With that being said, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video and feel free to stick around next week for more content coming soon. Also, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already and feel free to turn on those bell notifications if you are really excited about the content I have coming very soon. Bye, you guys.